We had a horrendous forecast, as it very often was for first night out in the Volvo last time. And I think it was up to 50 or 60 knots of wind expected on the nose, uh, with a big seaway as well. So pretty much the worst uh, information you could ever get when you're about to embark on, on a leg like that. We sailed pretty well, leaving Oakland Harbour. Uh, we were one of the first boats um, out into the, the bay outside of Oakland. So it was all going to be about surviving those first two days. And then, um, and, and then you were off, you're into more classics that are an ocean after that. So it's, it's a notorious part of the world, a place where not many people go. And uh, you can see some of the biggest waves in the world there. You have a long way from, from land and help. The closest thing to you can be a satellite at any one time and, and, uh, and it's, it's extreme, it's very extreme. And, uh, we were pushing the boat pretty hard, as, as hard as we needed to and we were comfortable with and uh, it was uh, three or four days into the lake and we were probably a good almost uh, 2,000 miles into the lake. Uh, we had another huge failure on the boat. Uh, Again, something that's never happened probably on one of these boats in the past, but the faster the boats were going with, the, with that generation of 70s, the further off the slamming areas were moving and, and again we had a technical failure in, in the hull, but um, we, we effected some repairs mid-ocean in, in quite a messy seaway, and, uh, uh, which involved me going over the side of the boat and drilling some 40 holes in the side of the boat trying to tie the skins of the boat together so we could actually make harbour. So it's still a nasty place to be. You've got waves obviously and splashing you around. I think I was tied to the bow and the stern and two halyards. And it probably did look a, a lot more dangerous than it might have been. Uh, you're hanging over the side of a boat so I just take it as a matter of course that the person on the other side of the halyard is one of my crewmates and very trustworthy. I don't even have to think about that because I know that's the case. It's something I see as part of my job so I don't see it as particularly courageous myself.